Hey VR heads, it's Cymatic Bruce with another video. Um, this time we're still going to be in UDK, but I want to explore uh, the small level that I have been working on. It's basically kind of a Star Trek like hallway um, that has an empty holodeck. Um, so I'm very excited. I'm going to be able to go into my own creation. Uh, that is very cool. I'm going to go ahead and, and slip in. <laughs> this carpet texture I put in here <laughs> it looks really wild. Okay. Um, I have kind of a default control scheme with mouse and keyboard. So one of the default UDK game types. You can hear footsteps. That's cool gotta get my Xbox controller working it's still the default speed is way too fast I should have changed that but the hallway seems to be a good size like uh, seems about the size it would be on the Star Trek show um, yeah it was a good decision to make it smaller <laughs> uh, which is very cool alright see my guy inserted in the hallway here he looks kinda wild We'll come back to him. First, I got to see this door open. Star Trek style. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, that is cool. This is so meta. <laughs> it's like, here I am standing inside of a fake holodeck. <laughs> Uh, number one where are you um, cool that is really cool it's so surreal looking at things that I worked on in blender <laughs> and and then seeing them like bigger and taller than I am and man then th this door is pretty wide it's like way over there okay yeah, think about the resolution. Like these, these cubes look really. Like I can see no detail on the cubes whatsoever. I can tell they're cubes and some of the coloring, but I'm not seeing detail until about here. I don't know. It's not that big of a deal, I think, to me. Um, now let's check out my friend over here. Um. Oh God. That is really strange. It's kind of, I gotta move to the side. It's really uncomfortable to have him looking in my eyes. <laughs> it's really cool to be able to lick him up and down. What you got, man? Um, yeah, he would scare me shitless right now if he turned his head and looked at me. This would be like some horror movie stuff. <laughs> that That's not cool at all. It feels like an, the NPC has a personal space that I, I don't want to in, invade. Like when I'm this close to him, whoa. Um, it feels very similar to when I'm too close to a person and that, you know, I, I really get the feeling that I should back up off this guy, <laughs> um, which is, which is really strange. It's really weird. Um, also I cannot see the HUD at all. Um, this is the default UDK setting The HUD is on the outskirts. I can see the outline of the radar uh, detector in the upper right corner if I close my right eye. My right eye can't see it but my left eye can. So it's kind of a weird artifact when I have both eyes open. It's like a weird circular artifact. I, I can't really see it. I can just see like a like a quarter of a circle there like an arc in the corner of my screen. Anything else on the HUD I can't see whatsoever. Um, that's the thing about the rift I mean there's pretty much you have this whole screen but your eyes are only seeing basically two small circles I think that's why the resolution is 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 low because you're you're only looking at a very small section of an already small screen so you're not seeing very many pixels to begin with I think that's why the the pixel density um, and just the uh, you know the resolution is going to be 
pretty important because you're so limited in what you're actually looking at on the screen. Like right now, as I look straight ahead, I'm seeing the edge, the left edge of the door, and on my right, I'm seeing that uh, white and brown cube, and that's pretty much the extent of my vision um, on the horizontal. Uh, the vertical doesn't have a good frame of reference, but um, but yeah, it's not a whole lot I'm, uh, I'm looking at. But overall, this is really cool to have built this, to have worked on this in the weeks waiting for my Rift to arrive, and then to be able to use the Rift uh, to actually explore it. That's, that's really awesome and fascinating. Um, sweet. Let's try my very janky uh, Razer Hydra integration. Okay. Um, so now I'm uh, going to check out uh, my own game type uh, that I've been working on that integrates the Razer Hydra and attaches it to the arms of a uh, of a pawn, the Iron Guard pawn. Uh, so I'm going to check that out and see how it looks. Um, this is rather wonky, like I have the the Hydra moving the arms, but I don't have look with the mouse or with the Hydra. So it's kind of, you're going to see my guy shuffling to the side. Um, don't mind that. <laughs> and uh, here we go. All right, the Hydra is docked right now, and I'm able to look and see some hands. That's awesome. Oh, I'm able to look down and see feet, which is also awesome. Not as good as TF2, which I'll have a video of that soon, but still decent. Um, I think it has to do with where the camera is. Uh, the camera is positioned in a place called Eye Socket, which was determined by Craig Delancey, who wrote a lot of the Razer Hydra integration code in UDK. He's awesome, also known as Black Fang. I love that guy. Shout out there. Um, so yeah, I think I would probably position the camera forward a little bit or up a little bit um, or do like the TF2 thing and just take away the head altogether that might make a difference let me grab my Hydra it's over here oh that is unreal holy crap da, 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 da. clap your hands everybody and know what it takes oh alright let me what the so yeah, I guess this orientation is strange, like, my pawn is facing this way. I think that's the way the skeletal mesh is made, it's kind of weird. But I have my hands, and I can move them. This is really cool. But it is also weird because they're not exactly corresponding to the actual position in space that I have them in. Like it should be, like I don't know, my hand should be higher or something like that, that's what it feels like but this is still pretty neat. Uh, even at this meager stage is pretty, pretty compelling. To be able to have control of a hand is really awesome. I'm very much looking forward to trying the modified Tuscany demo from Sixth Sense um, and see how that feels with uh, proper hand integration. And in the meantime, I'll try to work on this. Oh. Yeah, the bone is twisting by itself. This is still very, uh, very pre-pre-alpha here. <laughs> that That is awesome. That has a lot of potential. That is fantastic. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I've just been even more motivated to get this working. Uh, having your hands available to you is that's that's big for gameplay um, and also big for convincing yourself that you you're in another space yeah I'm gonna keep working on this and and see what I can um, what I can make of it uh, it will be really cool to have the rifts and the Hydra and then once I have that going I can really start uh, thinking about the creative things I want to do and what I'm going to actually do in the space rather than just looking at my hands going up and down like an idiot all right, excellent. Uh, thank you for watching, everyone. More to come. Um, TF2, flying, all that other stuff. Uh, so, happy coding, and 
Check you later.